Yo guys, what is going on? Vivid Eye Device here bringing you a video on Spring Tomize 2. Now, um, Spring Tomize can be purchased for $1.99, I think, in um, Cydia, but can also be purchased for free from the XLize repo. Now, I have Spring Tomize 2 because I have an iOS 5 and 6 device. Now, my iOS device is 6.0.1. So that is why I have the newest one. Um, so basically, Spring Tomize just can edit your whole entire springboard is probably my favorite jailbreaking app in the whole entire jailbreaking community. So, yeah, um, as you will see, um, in a second, right now, I do have 30 apps on one screen because I have a 5 icon dock in extra row and 5 um, icons in one row. So what Spring Tomize does is it allows you to do all of this within this big settings panel. Now I'm opening up Cydia to show you um, Spring Tomize how to get it. So, um, Spring Tomize 2 is from Excelize and from, I'm pretty sure it's Big Boss Repo. But, um, the one from Excelize is free. Yep, as you can see, um, the uh, iOS 5 and 6 don't get the spring to my too cracked um, but yeah that is spring to my two the normal product um, 299 but uh, there's also the other one from Excelize for free so going back to the springboard to show you the actual spring to my now. So first off we will go into animations and um, basically what animations does is you can do a ton of different cool things with your device, make slow motion on. Um, I do like the vertical app to app. I'll show you real fast. It goes like that instead of the other side. Um, I like that a little bit better. And then the lock animation um, is an old TV screen. So um, it closes like a TV screen. There you go. Um, so that's what it does. Um, you can change the color for that. You can play sound or anything. I'm going to change it to... Um, yeah, I'll, ch I'll change it to green, yeah. Um, but the settings do not work until you apply them. So moving on to the next one is capabilities. Now what capabilities does, if I open it, let's open it. Alright, capabilities. Now uh, what capabilities does is um, if you have a lower generation device like a iOS 4 or anything under that, what um, capabilities does is it allows you to add all these stuff. So let's say you didn't have voice control and you were like a really low, or if you have an iPod, you can have voice. And then if you have like, if you don't have SMS, you can turn that on. You can turn multitasking on. And um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, but you have to enable the custom capabilities to enable that in general. Next is the dock. Now, the dock you can do a ton of stuff on. Um, right now, I just um, have it on uh, five icons and then a cover flow effect. But if I wanted ten, you could. Um, and then you can turn a cover flow effect on. Right here, you can adjust the amount of effect it is, just like this. And then I have active dock, so that's why it's bouncing around. So, I'm going to open up. Um, oops. You can also access Spring Tomize from the settings application as well as the actual app. 
So, moving on, um, we're going to the lock screen. Now, with lock screen, you can turn the notification center on, hide the top bar, disable the artwork, um, do a bunch of stuff that you can't do. So, yeah, uh, sorry guys, um, but spring to my, you can make a custom label for your, um, sliding dock thing. So that's pretty cool. And now moving on to icons, you can do all this stuff. Um, you can use a custom number of lines. I have five. And then I did add another row as well <coughs> to my icons. Um, but yeah, you can have as much as ten uh, icons per row, which is really cool. Um, then you can also um, adjust the size of the icons, which is also nice, but I like to keep them full size. Uh, maybe a little bit smaller would be nice, but I'm not going to mess with that too much. Next, you can do spacing. You can hide icons. I'm hiding newsstand because I have no use for newsstand. Um, you can also hide the Springtimize app because um, in all you can uh, access Springtimize throughout the settings like I was talking about. Next is folders. Um, this is pretty general. You can make folder closed box so when you open up an app and go back to the home screen, the folder's shut. Um, disable animation, hide background, all this stuff. You can do with um, Springtimize. So next, uh, app switcher. Now this is something really cool that I like. Um, you can uh, make it so there are... Um, a landscape switcher so when you're playing something that uh, is a landscape and your device is sideways then that will work um, you can also make it a brightness slider you can uh, have five icons per section in the um, in the thing uh, I have OXO so I already have the brightness slider but as you can see I have five icons there but um yeah, that's pretty much what App Switcher does. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I do have five um, icons, which is nice. Uh, moving back on to Time Machine now. Basically what Time Machine does is it backs up your Spring Tomize settings. Uh, I haven't done that because Spring Tomize is pretty easy, and I can always redo it um, because it's pretty easy to do. There's not a lot you can change, um, and uh, I pretty much know it. Status bar, you can make a custom logo. Uh, mine doesn't show up for some reason um, because I have uh, AT&T Carrier, and um, I'm using Colorgasm uh, theme. And you can do all this stuff, make a custom time for people, disable all these, um, and yeah. You can also hide the dots on pages, um, remove page limits, pages, there's not a lot, but then for theming, you basically have to download separate themes, but you can totally customize your own themes as well. Um, like, let's say I wanted a, um... Now this, I don't exactly know what this is. Um, this is just the notification center, and you can make a blurred or transparent. I made mine blurred um, because it's easier to know. Uh, but yeah, right now, that's the normal way. Sorry, guys. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so we'll make the... Uh, this is more, you can just donate to them. And if you have any questions about Spring to Mize, you ask them. So now we're going to hit this reload button and just hit reload settings. You don't actually have to respring in Spring to Mize 2, which is really cool. It just automatically does everything for you. Um, so now that it's redone, we're going to pull down the notification bar. As you can see, it is blurred, which is nice and pretty cool. Um, and it works perfectly. Uh, let's go to the app switcher real fast. Um, same thing as usual because I had same things on. Um, 
So, yeah, the... Um, I don't think I changed a lot on the springboard. But thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you.